we can definitely do better than that. I'm giving away a penny board at 2,000 subscribers. So if you've been dreaming of getting one for a while or you've had one for a while and it's just time to get a new one, whatever it is, uh, I'm giving one away at 2,000 subscribers. So subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Enough about that. Let's talk about this penny board. Penny boards are great. I love penny boards, as you know by my videos. In my opinion, penny boards are the best option when you're talking about a cruiser. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that they have the best bearings. Actually, their bearings aren't that good at all. I mean, they're good, but compared to some of the other ones, they're not that great. And anybody that knows like half a thing about skateboarding at all knows that there's really one bearing that stands out and has been like the OG, the greatest of all time bearing. And that is this guy right here. Bones, Reds, they don't make them better. Like I've been skating for so long and there still has yet to be a company that comes along and makes something better than Reds. As you can see by that sticker in the top corner there, faster, smoother, stronger, and longer lasting, which to me, Sounds like a pretty fresh combo when you're mixing up with the penny board. Before we swap them out, I just want to do a quick like time test. So I'm going to spin this and I'm going to see how long it spins for. Um, and then I'm going to change it onto the reds bearings and then I'm going to do the exact same thing once they're all changed. And I really want to see like how much better these bearings actually are compared to like the OG stock penny board bearings that come with your complete penny board. Okay, now that that's all rigged up, here is the official test of the penny board bearings. I hope you can see that all right. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, 5.79 seconds on the original bearings. Not bad. Very, very interested to see what these guys are saying. Let's pop out these bearings. Little paper towel, there's a little bit of grease. Don't really want to get yelled at or lose my damage deposit in this apartment. Now there's really two ways that you can pop these bearings out. I personally like to use a screwdriver. Um, a more traditional way uh, is to pop them out with the trucks, but I don't trust myself nearly enough with that. Um, I'll probably bend something the wrong way. So I like to use a screwdriver and then you just put it in that hole there. And then And then give it a little pop, be gentle. And that is your penny board bearing. That's what it looks like right there. Give it a little spin without a wheel on it. Oh. It's really not spinning that much at all. Shouts out boardroom, by the way. There's your reds bearing. There's your penny board bearing. Oh, that's spinning. Pop the other guy out there. Take your first bearing, um, red side out. Pop that. I'm not actually sure if it matters which way you put it in, but the red looks a little bit steezy, so I like to flex on the red. Red side out like that. Throw that little spacer back in the middle there. Make sure that it's sitting upright. It doesn't need to be perfectly in the middle and then throw that second bearing into there. Squeeze it as hard as you can, get that in there, and then just come over here and then just kind of like wedge it back into place onto the truck like that. And it should fit nice and snug. And there you have it. Your wheel is now decked out and ready to go with your reds bearings. Little washer, throw that back on. Throw the wheel on, like that. Line up those holes. Second washer, throw it on. And then tighten it all up with that final nut. Use the wrench to give it a nice final tighten. Not too tight though, you still want that wheel to be spinning, obviously. 
Make sure it's spinning there. Then once you've got that all locked down, it is time to commence our super official spin test. In the name of science, it is time to officially figure out how much faster these reds bearings actually spin compared to the original stock penny board bearings. Just a reminder, the time to beat from the original penny board bearings is 5.79 seconds. All right, let's see if it can do it. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. 9.47 seconds. It's almost double the spin time of the original penny board bearings, which my scientific calculations are correct, should directly translate over to double the speed, which means this thing is going to absolutely shred. I can't wait to get back on it, but that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Penny board giveaway at 2000 subscribers, so stay tuned for that. Um, that's it. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.